let me just point one little thing because the, there, there's the point of view of the professionals who do, yeah. but there's also the point of view of the audiences. So it's like that's right. They have different visions. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, and the the impact of the red nose is different for the performers. Yeah. And for the audiences. Sure. It's like I think it's different. You know, uh, when when performers do that, it's because they recognize a few of them recognize that something. It has become an automatism for the audiences. They need to, they love, they, they want to, to have a, uh, interesting, you know, uh, performances with the audiences. And, uh, so it's like, uh, yeah, what well, like, I understand this point that, yeah, you yeah. can use it or not, but this is the performer side. There's also the audience side, like yeah, yeah, I know, absolutely agree, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. he's not gonna see me. the audience isn't gonna see maybe not even either of the things the taking off. He's not gonna know why or the putting on. No, this is this a discussion that really is, the the is more. Yeah, I agree. That's the, true. That's very true. Yeah, I mean, I'm not bothered about the issue as of red noses in particular. Mm -hmm. um, so it's okay. Yeah. Um, but, um, but so what I'm concerned with is if I can, if there remains a little bit of doubt in me that something, that I should be doing something, or I should be doing something. And then you want to... Then I'm not doing it right. You want to contradict? Yeah, I, okay. I want I to clean this out. I just want to <laughs> clean out this, you know, the clown house so we can live in it. No, but it's always going to be a mess, you know. I know. It's, <laughs> I know. You have to clean it every day. Yeah. I see. So you want to clean it so that the mess can be really good and yeah. Hey, let's make a good mess. <laughs> There's yeah. more space and, and empty space to mess. It, it, it gives you more space. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And okay. it simplifies things. And the more I do that, the more the simpler my clowning gets as well. You know. So, uh, and I I know that okay, it's fine if I just it's just for me. You know, it's just mm -hmm. my process. But, okay, so it's enough if I do, you know, whatever, something very simple. Because I know that I have the elements that will make, make it to be planning. I mean, it might seem obsessive <laughs> to others uh -huh. this way, but that's how I, that's how I work. It helps me, helps me to look at clown history, helps me perform now to know clown history. Because mm -hmm. uh, I don't have any, I have less misconceptions about what clowning is, you know. I'm less bound by what... The orthodoxy of here and now, this culture mm -hmm. and this moment is saying, you know, so I can escape. I can quite uh, have the confidence in my own beliefs, you know, and, and if uh, or comedy, you know, that if 99% of the population tell me, oh, that's not funny because you're not telling jokes or you're not laughing at someone else or you're not, you know, you need to be dark. As someone asked you a question in your PhD thing yesterday. Mm -hmm. Oh, it, when he mentioned the thing about clowning and children and the dark side, of, and that I cringed there. I thought, oh, no, why, why the fuck do you have to bring darkness into clowning? It's got that, you know, like, is that so basic? Mm -hmm. So, you know, so I can, you know, these things were just, yeah, okay, so they're in another world, they look for something else. Um, uh, so this is why you worry, you worry about the pre-expectations that are there established for in, my uh, own for your my for your, my okay. own you know, lazy thinking. Okay. Yeah. So okay. I'm, I get rid of that. I don't need to worry about other people's expectations. Okay. Because um, then I'll have to if I make good work, then then it'll work. Yeah. So that's why thinking and researching is interesting. Okay, thank you very much. You're very welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay.